Yeah, what up folks, back at again with another video. Don't get to film as much to uh, you know, a lot of work. But um, do me a favor, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and also to get notified, right? So we got a 2012 Hyundai Accent here that's acting up, right? Customer complaint is that you feel like he's losing power, right? Um, let's see if we can diagnose it. Um, let's put a scan tool on it. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of circuit high codes on the injectors and sensors right but i believe that the shop was unplugging or had things unplugged when it was doing the checks so i'm gonna probably you know delete the codes and do a rescan and see what pops up and probably that will give me some direction right um but as i said let's do a full scan again and take it from there this definitely feel like it has a misfire um it could come from anything from the dig injectors you know plugs i'm not sure but as i said it definitely sound like it, right? So, I'm gonna go back into the vehicle in a bit and just see if the scan tool kind of give me any guidance, but from what the tailpipe is telling me, or what I'm hearing from the tailpipe, sorry, um, it does sound like a misfire, right? So, hold on, wait. Let me just go back inside and see what's good. So you tell me hearing that noise coming from the exhaust, that definitely a misfire, right? I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I did. Right, so they have two fold codes came back up on the um, scan tool. Let's see what it is. I'm hoping that there's some sort of direction on this um, misfire, but if it's not, well, we just have to figure it something else out, right? So on the ECM, I'm seeing alternator circuit, control circuit. Oh, this have nothing to do with me. Um, not seeing that is not the code I'm gonna go after, but for now, is I don't think that's causing a misfire. Did I ever hear uh, alternator cause a misfire on a high end day? Um, no, I heard it cause a misfire before, but not on a, normally I hear that on like Nissan or something like that. Right, so what next thing I'm gonna do is a uh, power balance test to see if I'm getting command to the coil. It can be a faulty spark plug, but let's try that first and see if the um, ECU is getting command to the coil. It could be a power and ground, could be electrical issue, but as I said, this is just a simple thing I can do from here in the driver's seat and you know, give me some type of direction. So we're gonna go check through one to four uh, and if you hear the change in the engine, then I believe that is, um, you know, a good coil, right? Does it mean that the spark plug is good? No, it doesn't. But at least it tells me that I'm getting good ECU command coming to these, um, these coil, right? And that I believe this is two wire um, coil, so the transistor will be in the ECU, right? And not in the coil itself. So let's see what else. Here I can do from the driver's seat. Yeah, so far so good. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm hearing the misfire, but it sounds like the coil is having, getting a good command from the ECU. Uh, I'm gonna go on the hood in a bit and put my amp clamp around the injector and see how the injector is firing and probably pull the coil and the spark plug just to see if they're not damaged, if they have no carbon tracking that can cause the, you know, um, that's much fire, right? I hardly, I, to be honest, um, Kia and Hyundai does really well when it comes to the coil and the plugs. So I don't think I have any issue there, but as I said, this is a um, another shop um, vehicle that I'm diagnosing this for. So I'm not sure what was done. I can't say, but I believe that, I don't think it's ignition and coil. It sound like, you know, it's coming from something else. It could be in for the injector, it could be in compression. So, as I said, I'm gonna go on the hood and put on the... Um, so we hooked on to number three, right? Injector and I'm gonna check what's going on. And as you can see on our voltage trace, they see you get a flat line, nothing. You're not even getting no um, current ramp on, no current ramp. 
So we're gonna let's put it on there number one. I'm gonna hook it up here. Start with number one right here. And there you go. You can see I'm getting hold this and hold on. Right. You see I'm getting voltage and I'm also getting time. Let's see if we can open this up a little bit. Right now it's upside down so I'm gonna just flip it, invert it. Right. Let's put a trigger. Let's do an auto. Let's put a trigger on the current. Right, so right now we see that we gain number one. Right, so we gain number one. And let's swap it to number two, number three. That's half the issue. Number three, we own, and nothing. Okay, so let's break down these waveforms, right? The blue trace is the voltage for number one injector, and the red trace is the current for the same injector, right? Um, let me see if I can fix these settings a little bit so you can show you um, what exactly I'm speaking about. All right, so each spikes um, that you see here is represent number one injector, right? Um, this is a known good on the same vehicle. so. So we're going to take this capture and compare it to number three that has a fault, right? But I need to just fix my um, settings real quick. Kind of hard to do it where I'm at because the shop don't have no um, table available. So I'm kind of doing this on a crate, you know, and it's the noise around. So as I said, man, the red trace is the current clamp. I roped on to number one injector and the blue trace is number one injector also but it's the voltage right so i'm going to zoom in to this capture right here so um this is every time number one is fired this is what i'm going to see on the scope right um so as i said the i'm getting proper voltage and amperage or for this um injector normally i tend to see under one amp or on this injector it's not a gdi it's a sequential type injector so i expect to see anything lower than one amp and the voltage should be under 100 volts right so i didn't need to pull my attenuator but i had it just to protect my scope and i'm seeing everything i'm supposed to see on the injector i'm seeing the characteristics that you know tells me that this is a good injector i'm seeing on the blue trace i'm seeing where my pintle hump is closing i'm also seeing where the pintle hump is opening on the red trace so and also the ecu is definitely grounding number one um, I don't have any fault codes for this injector and I'm just going to compare it to number three as I said and see what's good. Alright, what I'm expecting to see on number three is the same exact thing I'm seeing here. I need to see my pintle hump, I need to see my current ramp and my voltage spike, right? If I'm not seeing that, definitely something wrong with the, either the harness or even the injector or um, probably the ECU, right? But as I hooked up my scope, I saw that I'm, like the injector tried to fire number three, but you notice I'm not seeing any current ramp on the um, red trace. The ECU is trying to ground the injector, but after a while it looks like it fails. So basically this one the code is trigger. So no current, no work. So the garage is gonna remove the injector and verify the faults. Right, so we was able to pull the injectors out and we swapped the number two into number three. Right, you right. see it was firing and it still wasn't firing, right? So I decided to pull the ECU out, right? Uh, received the pin out from a guy and I just did my checks, right? And I see that this MOSFET, which is this one I just circled, wasn't firing um, the number three injector, right? So we're going to replace this MOSFET 
right get this car back up and running and the customer should be happy so until next time don't forget to like subscribe share comment you know hit that bell for more notification you know take it easy